stories of survival and acts of desperation in a country reeling from natural disaster. An official from one relief organization described the situation in the Philippines as hideous. First, we're going to bring you some perspective on this. This gives you a comparison between Typhoon Haiyan and Hurricane Katrina. Katrina has been called the worst natural disaster in U.S. history. Haiyan is bigger. It might even be the strongest cyclone ever. Too early, though, for scientists to know for sure. Here's a look at the typhoon from space. The winds and the storm surge from Haiyan flattened more than 20,000 homes. 800,000 people were forced out of their homes. Now survivors are dealing with another storm. It's not a strong one, but it's making it hard for relief workers to get aid to victims. We're hearing some of the stories from survivors of this storm. The family in this video punched holes in their ceiling as water rushed into their home. Then they climbed up to the second floor to avoid being swept away. In this video, you can see them sitting up in the rafters as the water flows by underneath them. For many victims of Typhoon Haiyan, the focus is now on survival. That means searching for food, sometimes walking past or over what remains of their homes in order to find something to eat. Dozens of countries and organizations are sending help or have promised help. If you're 13 or older, you can go to our homepage and find the Impact Your World link. That'll give you some ideas about these relief efforts and how you might be able to get involved. It's time for us to check in with some of our reporters to hear about a few different stories from a few different spots around the world. We're going to head to the Middle East for some reaction to nuclear negotiations, then some nature training in Asia for animals that don't live in the wild. But we're starting in Europe with a memorial service for a military veteran. In England yesterday, hundreds attended the funeral of a veteran they had never met. 99-year-old Harold Jellico Percival died a single man. No friends, no family. For a while there, it looked as though this World War II veteran would be buried alone and forgotten. That is, until his funeral home posted an ad in a local paper asking military personnel to attend. The ad made its way to the internet and the response was overwhelming. Some traveled hundreds of miles to be able to give Harold a funeral fit for a veteran of the Second World War. Many Iranians very disappointed that a deal wasn't reached in the nuclear talks in Geneva over the weekend. It's perhaps Iranian people who would gain the most with an agreement because it would probably help ease some of the sanctions they've suffered through for years. It's not clear exactly why a deal wasn't reached, but it's being widely viewed here in Iran that at least one of the spoilers was France. There are reports Iran offered to suspend uranium enrichment at 20 percent, which would seemingly make it impossible for them to make the fuel necessary for a bomb, but there's speculation that France demanded more. All sides back in Geneva next week to try again. It's training time for more than a dozen pandas born in captivity in southwest China. Workers teaching them how to climb trees, giving them a tickle on the tummy for potty training and also making sure they get enough food every day. There's also nap time, of course, on the lawn. It's been a baby boom of pandas this year in China, but with just over 1,500 pandas left in the wild, they need to make sure each one of these little furry creatures grows up big and strong. It's time for the shout out. Where will you find the world's tallest building? If you think you know it, then shout it out. Is it in Dubai, Chicago, New York or Singapore? You've got three seconds. Go. Standing more than 2,700 feet tall, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the world's tallest building. That's your answer and that's your shout out. Now ask for the tallest building in the U.S. The Empire State Building, the Trump International Hotel and Tower, the Willis Tower, all towering structural superlatives. But none of them can claim the title of tallest building in the country. Not anymore, anyway. The Council on Tall Buildings, yes, there's a Council on Tall Buildings, has just named the most skyward skyscraper. It's One World Trade Center in New York City. At 1,776 feet, it's no coincidence that its height matches the year the U.S. declared independence. But there was a bit of controversy hovering over the Big Apple's tallest tree. Does its spire count? Chicago's Willis Tower rises 1,451 feet if you don't count its broadcast antennas, which the council doesn't. 
One World Trade measures 1,368 feet without its spire. But the committee met in early November and decided that since the spire is a permanent part of the design, it does count for an extra 408 feet and the tallest tower title. That's not tallest in the world, though. Dubai's Burj Khalifa stands at more than 2,700 feet. And One World Trade isn't finished yet, so Willis remains America's tallest completed building. Exceeding that height was a tall order, but the accomplishment is no tall tale. All right, when you buy furniture from someone, it comes with its own history, maybe unique scuffs or features that might each tell a story. When a couple in Connecticut bought a desk recently, they discovered something that made the furniture nearly 500 times more valuable. What they did next is why we're calling this a character study. Imagine buying a desk under $200 on Craigslist, only to find thousands of dollars hidden inside. That's exactly what happened to a New Haven couple. A local rabbi and his wife found a huge pile of cash after buying this desk on Craigslist. When the couple brought the desk home, it wouldn't fit through the door. The desk didn't fit into this office by a fraction of an inch. The couple had to pull the desk apart, including the file cabinets. Behind the drawers, they discovered a plastic bag filled with cash. Behind the drawers, there's this plastic bag, like a shopping bag I'm talking about. And um, in that bag, I could already see through the bag, there's, it looks like a $100 bill. After a closer look... We open it up and it's full of cash. We count it up and there's $98,000 cash sitting in the bag. The couple couldn't believe their eyes. Right away, um, my wife and I sort of, uh, you know, looked at each other and we said, we can't keep this money. They picked up the phone and called the original owner. I saw there's a bag back there and through the bag, I sort of, I sort of saw like one $100 bill and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's money. And I picked it up and I'm like, this is pretty heavy. And then we brought it over to the table and just sort of counted it up and we're like, oh my gosh. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, because I, oh my God. I... The original owner speechless. She stuffed her inheritance in the desk, forgetting where she put the money. The Good Samaritans returning the cash to the rightful owner. The rabbi tells me the most important thing in life is to be honest. 98000 in a desk. We also heard about an eighth grader who found and returned nearly $1,300 around Halloween. If you came across a stash of cash, what would you do? If you're already on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash CNN Student News. If you're 13 or older, you can reply on our blog at cnnstudentnews.com. In this week when Americans pay tribute to veterans, our Worldwide Wednesday roll call is filled with DOD, Department of Defense Schools, where many of the students are from military families. First up, Puerto Rico. We're checking in with the Pirates from Antilles High School. Over to Europe for our other two schools, the Rammstein Lions from Rammstein High in Germany, and in Italy, the Cougars from Vicenza American High School round out today's roll call. It's the season of giving. We're talking about giving thanks. Thanksgiving's only 15 days away. What are you thankful for? Here are a couple things I'm thankful for. We want you to tell us like this, a piece of paper, your word or two of thanks, then send a photo, but no videos, please. If you're 13 and over, go to cnnstudentnews.com, scroll to the resources box, and look for the iReport link called Giving Thanks. The deadline is November 20th. There's an old saying that a watch pot never boils. A watch printer is apparently different. It seems to be printing fine, but this cat doesn't like what it sees. Maybe it wanted it in landscape format. Maybe the cat in this YouTube video... Maybe it has an impatient owner and is trying to deliver this message hot off the presses. Maybe the cat's confused about whether this is a printout or an incoming message. In that case, it should really get its facts straight. If it was a fight, it probably started because the cat didn't like the printer's toner or something. Either way, the SmackDown is definitely a pay-per-view event, or in Shakespearean terms, now is the printer of our discontent. If the cat caused any damage, its owner will have to add it to the tabby started, which could leave the animal feline sad. Okay, I'll stop. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon.